want to uh, show you guys today we're going to be talking about hypo aspis miles hypo aspis miles are beneficials okay these are beneficials here these are hypo hypo aspis miles these are beneficial insects used for fighting fungus gnats thrips mites uh, any problems, any soil dwelling insects. So any kind of soil dwelling insects. I got these from Nature's Good Guys. So there's some stickers here. We got some stickers from Nature's Good Guys. Our soldier bugs. A little thank you note. Uh, happy or not happy card. Uh, here's our spider mite control using predatory mite system. Here's some more information on predatory mites. They have the, this is what I use, the triple blend. I've used this. It's a uh, triple blend of predatory mites to uh, fight the insects in the soil. Uh, there's a quick, uh, quick sh sheet, quick sheet, cheat sheet. Shows you all the uh, information there in the back. There's a special blends that they make. Um, the predatory mites so they got different ones you can get that's pretty cool so what we have here are the uh, hypo aspis miles and they're really good for the soil dwelling insects so we're going to go ahead and inoculate our worm bins again and our grows and our beneficial insect terrarium that we've got going with all of the different bugs in there so we're going to figure out what works best, right? Okay, so let's take... Now the thing about these is a great time to uh, order these when it's cold. Because in the cold weather, they stay fresh. Uh, you got to keep them cool, keep them alive. So it's a good to note. Now's a good time to add them in your grows. You know the shipping, it'll be cold this time of year. So they always put these ice cold packs in there. When you get them, you want to make sure they're they're cold. This one's not solid anymore. They usually come hard. They're like frozen. So that makes me wonder if they're still alive cuz sometimes they get shipped and they die because they don't keep them cold. So what we have here are 12,500 hypoaspis miles. So we're going to take these hypoaspis miles and we're going to inoculate our bins and our, our compost pile for to fight off the fungus nets and uh, thrips and stuff like that. So yeah, there you go. Now we wouldn't be able to see them because they're so small, but um, hopefully when I get the magnifying glass out, I'll get the, the microscope out, I'll go ahead and take a look at them, make sure they're still alive. Probably should have done that prior, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and sprinkle some of these in. Like that side was broken off or missing or something. You can see where it broke off right here is the plastic pieces that came off of it. Anyway, okay, so we're gonna go over here and uh, you know we've got our our worm bin started over here. We got beneficials in here. Or no, that's not the one. That's all wood chips. All right, I'm glad I didn't put it in that pile. There's this one. No, that's the sand. All right, we got the sand. This one's here's this, here's our here's our worm bin we started breaking down all of our old soil and our in here a bunch of worms on the roots and stuff so we'll go ahead and sprinkle these guys in here inoculate that real well okay we'll come over here sprinkle some in there. I'd say that's probably a couple thousand. You want to shake them up real good so they they get settled around in the bottom of these. When you get them, you tell you to shake them up, move them around, so they're not they're all spread out inside the canister, right? So. All right, that's the 
sand. Let's come over here. Do our do that one. So we've been in that one. That's gonna be outside. We're gonna put some more in that one. We'll see, make sure we got enough for all of them first. And we're gonna go ahead and, here's our sage and our rosemary and our mint. And we got some tomatoes gonna be coming up in here. So we'll go ahead and inoculate this one. Okay, so we got lots of beneficials in there. And we're going to bring that inside so it'll be nice and warm for our grow. That's going to be our indoor grow. We have rosemary, sage, cherry pep, uh, cherry tomatoes, and mint growing in that 17-gallon self-watering container. Uh, this is where we drilled the hole for aeration in here. And you got the aeration. The roots can get oxygen. And this is also overflow for the water. So you can come up here fill this up with water and down here it'll overflow that way the roots don't get root rot and you'll have plenty of aeration and moisture for the roots to stay nice and healthy so we'll remove that we'll go ahead and come over here and inoculate this one and we're going to come over and inoculate this one And then we'll come up over here and we got plenty left so we'll go ahead and get this one a little bit that one a little bit that one's a little bit we got our soil down here go ahead and inoculate that soil this is all of our soil ready to mix ready to uh ready to plant in that's fresh soil i got mixed up already with amendments rice holes perlite pumice clay balls and we've got lots of organic matter in there with, with the worm castings from our worm bin and that'll keep them um, nice and healthy so we want to keep a nice variety of beneficial insects to keep our bad insects out right so this will keep the population of fungus gnats down to keep the population of thrips uh, mites, spider mites, uh, different snake mites, um, lots of different uh, bugs. Like they're they're also good for like mealy bugs and uh, roly polies. Uh, you got to be aware of that. They will they will kill roly polies. So I don't know if you got a lot of roly polies or if you got a problem with roly polies. So these are these are really good to put in there, and they will take care of the problem. So. Go ahead and mix those into the worm uh, bin. We've got lots of beneficials in there like uh, pirate bugs. We've got uh, the minute, minute pirate bugs. We've got the hyp hypo asses, miles, and we've got a few other types in there as well. We've got the beneficial nematodes, the triple pack I was talking about. We've got that in there. And... Yeah, it's just a really great idea to add these beneficial insects into your grows. They will definitely take care of any problems with mites or thrips. They'll get rid of any kind of, um, you know, unwanted bugs or problems that you might have. So we're just going to leave that in there in case there's any hiding out in the container. And then we're going to go ahead and bring this one inside. We're moving this one downstairs. Get it out of the cold. Okay. That's 
nice and warm down here in the basement. So got lots of wood over here for the fireplace and the fire pit. You probably can't see too good in there. But uh, I've got lots of wood stocked up in here. Uh, that wood I could use to make biochar. We we're talking about biochar a lot. And it's good to always inoculate your biochar with some worm castings or some kind of beneficial mycorrhizae or some kind of beneficial organisms. Hey, hey bro. Hey, doing, buddy? Good boy. I'm making a video, okay? Go get your ball. Go get the ball. Good boy. Good boy. Go get your ball. Okay, buddy. You want to play? I know. I know you do. I know. Okay, so we got our beneficials put in there. We got some more beneficials. So that's 12,500. And I've got another 12,500 in here. So I'm gonna take these inside and work on the inside grows that we've got in there going and inoculate our soil with these as well to keep out the fungus gnats and the thrips springtails root aphids spider mites uh, it's really good for all those it'll take care of everything these are really cheap right now too and um, i think there was like eight or five or eight dollars for each container is like twelve thousand five hundred uh in each one and it was like eight dollars each plus shipping was like 12 or 15 bucks so like 20 some dollars you get one of these it'll take care of all the fungus gnats thrips springtails any kind of root aphids or spider mites that you might have just order some of this from nature's good guys or you can also go through arbigo grows they're really good arbigo a-r-b-i-c-o they uh, sell a lot of beneficial insects, like beneficial mites to um, protect your garden and all your vegetables and all your flowers from fungus gnats, thrips, springtails, root aphids, and spider mites. So they're really good beneficial mites and organisms to add into your grow, along with the nematodes. So I highly recommend checking them out. Nature's good guys. They've got everything from ladybugs to praying mantis so all right guys sorry about the dog i'm gonna let you guys go cut the video short thank you for all my subscribers thanks for everybody watching leave it and i will catch you on the flip side thanks for watching guys go out here and play with the dog for a little bit he's getting anxious i think he's getting jealous i'm happy growing